All right, so nine picks down here in the 2023 NHL entry draft. The man behind all of it is Tony Feltrin. What's it like when it's all done after all these weeks and hours on the road watching these games? Well, it's a... Uh, it it's exciting to uh, have the prospect pool that we've just created here uh, off this draft. And, and you mentioned my lead, but that's fine, but it's an entire group. The, the entire scouting staff's efforts to create the list and uh, create the uh, opportunity to select players in the right positions here is just outstanding and, and thankful for, for the efforts of the entire group. Does it ever go as you expect it to go? Well, uh, we were not necessarily <laughs> certain that the, our first selection was going to be there at 10, and very glad that he was. So uh, we do all kinds of things. Doug's mentioned in a couple of previous interviews about mock drafts, and you look where this player could potentially fall and, and such. But we're prioritizing for the St. Louis Blues, and, and we're putting players on a list that in orders that we want them. So what the outside hockey world thinks or media thinks perhaps isn't uh, dictating where we're putting players on a list so what's the mindset you come into a draft like this and people talk about the depth of this, of this draft in comparison to previous drafts and how deep it is and you have three first round picks is that added pressure or is that just a luxury to have yeah certainly the luxury side and, and exciting uh, but there was great depth in the draft we felt that going in uh, and an opportunity to make the three selections in the first is going to bode well going going down the road here for the blues so all right let's run down several of them dalibor Dvorsky. you get him at 10th overall how excited are you about this kid uh, extremely uh, just a tremendous kid first off uh, can play center ice uh, very good vision, com good competitiveness, uh, overall hockey intelligence and work ethic. Just lots to like about the player. He'll be a pro hockey player in North America for many years to come. So. Right. Later in the first round, 25th overall, Otto Stenberg brings a lot of character, doesn't he? He does. Uh, he was a leader for the U18 team, for the Swedish U18 team in uh, the April World Championships. Uh, again, it just plays with passion on the ice with good two-way skill with some ability to score so lots to like in his game all right a third player out of sweden that you take i know Dvorsky is from slovakia but he played in sweden but you take theo lindstein um did it just go like that or what were your thoughts there when you get three players now coming out of sweden in the first round well, once again, the, the list prioritizes talent, uh, NHL ability uh, for a projection. Uh, Theo being there at that pick was well warranted in his selection with his skill, uh, intelligent puck moving defenseman, good mobility. Just a matter, matter of time for some physical maturity and uh, he'll be well on his way. No second round pick, but in the third round you go defense once again and you go to the OHL out of Kingston to get Quinton Burns. Quentin Burns, a big-bodied player that uh, plays with good passion and energy and, uh, and some grit and snarl to his game. Also can skate and move a puck, so lots to like there. He, he did battle some injuries uh, this season, uh, but all in all, lots of upside there. Two picks later, Uri Pekarsik. Uh, Uri is, plays that dog-on-a-bone style that he's tenacious, up-and-down winger that's on pucks, creates plays from uh, from gaining puck possession in hard areas uh, just a relentless worker lots to like body's got a ways to go for uh, physical maturity also but again you don't cheat uh, you don't teach the passion that he plays with so All right, you go back to uh, the blue line in the fifth round Paul Fisher an American kid out of the US program who's headed to Notre Dame what do you like about him well, Paul's uh, a good quality puck moving player uh, can handle big minutes for the uh, program uh, very efficient, well-placed well uh, two-way defender. So there's lots to like in his game, and he's got lots of time to uh, develop in, in college. In the sixth round, a defenseman, Matt Mayich, he's an interesting prospect. He drops the gloves, he'll fight, and he's got a little bit of uh, offense to his game as well, doesn't he? Yes, uh, Matt uh, can do all those things, and uh, certainly an enticing player. He handled good minutes on a strong Ottawa junior team. Uh, so we're excited to get him also at that point. Our OHL scouts uh, certainly pushed the, that selection, and uh, we've all seen him play numerous times. As you mentioned, he can uh, 
he can do a little bit of everything. So excited to get him. All right, you go out to Russia, your seventh or your ninth and final pick in the seventh round, Nikita Susuyev. Now, this was a challenge, right, watching these Russian players this past year. Yes, obviously we have a Russian-based scout, uh, but for the rest of us currently, it's been video, video, <laughs> and lots of video. Uh, but a player that's uh, offensive upside dictated that he warranted selection from our European scouting staff uh, at this point. So some upside there on the offensive side of his game for sure. And now we're going to have an opportunity to see uh, most of these guys participate in prospect camp coming up this week. How excited are you to get them on the ice? Yeah, well, we know what they're what they're capable of, but I'm sure for uh, some of the management that didn't get an opportunity to get to the U18 to see numerous players uh, are excited to see them, as should be all the Blues fans. Uh, these are talented hockey players. Uh, they're future Blues. Uh, we're, I'm thrilled that I'm, I'll be there, uh, be passing off uh, messages and uh, letting the, our scouting staff know of their performance of, uh, of players at camp. And we all believe in these guys. Well, I know the fans are excited for sure. Congrats once again to you and your staff on a great draft here in 2023. I appreciate it. Thank you.